Now, I know you said uh, your parents eloped in this car. Mm-hmm. What about you, brother? No, this survived two divorces, my parents and then my mine. The plot thickens. See that? <laughs> See, we, we don't just end it with the marriage. You know what I'm saying? We, we go through divorce. See, that's why Skeeter Wright don't ever get married. I got nine kids with eight different women, not a single ring between them. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like your style. Yeah, I bet you do, brother. <laughs> All right, Skeeter Wyatt here with a car that's a little bit too classy for me to be standing next to, but we're going to do it anyway. What's your name, brother? Chip. Chip. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this car right here? Uh, it's a 1957 Corvette, 283, uh, 245, dual Carter WCFBs. My parents bought it in 1967. Uh-huh. They eloped in it. Uh, been in the family for 55 years. Hey man, it's been a family a long time, brother. Now I said you uh, you got some dual carburetors on. Is that the two barrel or four barrel? Dual force. Dual force, man. See, you, you need all that fuel for all the American horsepower. You know what I mean? That's right. That's right. So uh, you know we got a small block Chevy. What about the transmission? Uh, four speed. Dang. Yep. You rolling with the earthen gears, brother? I do, but not that often. Why not? It's a classic, and I don't need to go fast. Well, you know you don't need to, but sometimes it's a, it's a want thing more than a need thing. You know what I mean? Burnout. Hell yeah, she will. Oh, man. Well, you speak my language right now, brother. What's the longest burnout you ever done in this thing? I got through three gears. Three gears. Hell yeah. A lot of smoke on that one. Now, I know you said uh, your parents eloped in this car. Mm-hmm. What about you, brother? No, this survived two divorces. My parents and then my mine. The plot thickens. See that? <laughs> See, we, we don't just end it with the marriage. You know what I'm saying? We, we go through divorce. See, that's why Skeeter Wright don't ever get married. I got nine kids with eight different women. Not a single ring between them. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like your style. Yeah, I bet you do, brother. Now, uh, you know, I, you had this car for a long time. What changes have you made to it, if any, since you've had it? Complete frame off restoration. Okay. Every nut, bolt, piece on the car has been put back to factory specs. Gotcha. Man, factory specs. You got AC in this thing? No. Man. No. Is that because you're too cool to sweat? No, no, I sweat. I sweat like... Uh, like a devil's crotch, I swear. You know what I'm saying? Well, he offered to take his shirt off early. I don't know why he did it. Could have just taken his shirt off, maybe cool off a little bit. I don't want to stain up the interior. Oh, that's true. Well, I think when your parents eloped in it, they may have stained up the interior themselves, but. I was probably conceived in here. Probably conceived in here. Well, this is the first time I've interviewed somebody where they're being conceived in the car that we're talking about. So, so congratulations. If I had a sticker, I'd give it to you. <laughs> Thank you. You know what I mean? Now, uh, now again, what year is this? 57. 1957. That's a great year, brother. What kind of tunes we blast in this thing? Uh, I like the old 60s surfers music, but I also listen to uh, anything from Jelly Roll to, uh, I don't know, Kid Rock. I like it all. Oh, Kid Rock. Again, now you speak my language. No Hall of Notes? Nope. You, heard, no. you, know you haven't mean? heard Jelly Roll? I, had, I, I may or may not have. Maybe I got to take some notes, brother. You got to listen to Jelly Roll. He does songs with Kid Rock. He does them with uh, Brantley Gilbert like a country rapper he's good oh man that sounds terrible but maybe i'll, I'll give it a shot <laughs> but uh all right so uh you know we did a frame off restoration was the interior uh changed at all or is that that's still uh from back in the day no, that's all brand new all brand all new brand stuff new factory spec i got you i got you now uh, i probably know the answer to this question i gotta ask anyway you doing any racing in this car no 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 well if you were to race i got a 1978 chevrolet camaro type lt with a mullet drive 305 think he beat that in a race no, nah, I'd let you win. Ah, you'd let me win. Okay, brother. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the loser mentality right there. It, it's okay, brother. I, I know you don't want to step into the ring with the uh, with the beast. You I know don't, what I mean? I don't. I don't want to mess with it. Nah, I don't want to mess with it. Now, uh, now my wife will. Oh, what? In, in the Porsche in the German car? Yeah, she'll take you on. Oh, get out of here, brother. We smacked y'all in WW2. I'll smack <laughs> y'all here in, in, in 2022. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't be playing them games with me. You know what I mean? Now, uh, we got a little magazine article right here. Tell us about that. Yeah, 2005, um, it got selected for Corvettes of Carlisle Chip's Choice, uh-huh. and they did a feature uh, at Corvette Fever magazine. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Now, uh, you seem like a traditional Corvette guy, obviously first generation right here. I see this orange one behind you, this little mid-engine deal. What, what do you think about the new Corvettes? I love them. I've driven them. They're fantastic cars. It's a little polarizing, man. Half of y'all, like I hate them, half of y'all, I love them. What, what's going on with that? I, I'm a purist. I love them, and I've driven it. It's a great car. For the money, you can't beat it. It'll it'll run with any supercar right off the factory floor. 
They're nice. Man. Spoken from an actual Corvette owner. I think the stereotypes aren't true. We're just busting through those, uh, those glass <laughs> ceilings. You know what I mean? Well, uh, anything else you want to say about the car, brother? No, just uh, it's our family heirloom. So it's going to go to my kids, and they can do with it what they want. That might not be the best idea, but I'm going to let you do what it do, brother. Appreciate it. Thank man. you, sir. Thank you.